you can see it in my eyes right now. You see, I don't know if you see that, but my eyes are glowing, right? My eyes are glowing, bro. What? What? Bro. That's mad, right? My eyes are glowing. My eyes are glowing right now. Unless I'm just imagining that. Just finished in our meditation. Wow. Guys, you know, one of the things I, I um I do as well, I, I leave I'll either do a silent meditation or I use hypnotherapy. Right? Hypnotherapy's been huge on my journey. Huge on my journey, right? And um Yeah, just done that now. And Wow, changed my life, hypnotherapy did. Changed my life. Like, yeah, this is actually, I'm actually learning to become a certified hypnotherapist myself because, and I'm gonna make my own recordings all of that stuff because hypnotherapy is literally how you reprogram your subconscious mind and you're in a trance for like i was in an effort hour and he's just suggesting all of these things to you about you know how your life's gonna play out you know you're you're seeing your future self you're seeing that you're you're, you're envisioning it you're anchoring certain emotions and feelings and beliefs and that goes into your subconscious and your subconscious creates your reality you know like i can't explain it any other way then your subconscious mind drives your reality and when you when you intentionally program it you choose the reality you want you know and uh, i just that just that, that meditation was deep and the one i done last night as well guys it's five day five today yeah and i'm already seeing the benefits of the visualizations and stuff one area i'm going to master though this is actually a big shift for me as well guys if you look back on my channel i used to have this uh, mindset of like i have to wake up every day like quarter to five i need I almost like i needed to right now i'm like bro i don't need to i'm still gonna win regardless if i get up at 9 a.m if i get up at quarter to five but you know what it is guys i want to get up early i want to and i'm making a commitment right now i'm gonna wake up tomorrow i'm gonna try quarter to six i think my best wake up time though is quarter to seven that's when i've experimented quarter to seven seems to be the sweet spot but i'll do quarter to seven tomorrow i'm gonna put an alarm on I want to start mastering my mornings out here, guys, because I feel like when you, look, like I said, I'm going to win regardless. I'm going to get my deep work done. I'm going to get my workouts in. I'm going to hit my macros. I'm going to get my studying done. Whether I do it in the evening, whether I do it in the morning, it doesn't matter. But I just love waking up early. I love getting my day going early, getting in the flow of things from the start of the day, just up early, grinding. I love that. I want to get up early. So I'm going to start that from tomorrow which would be day number six, and I'll go from there. Like I said as well, it takes me a while to get into the swing of things. This is why I don't like traveling too much, you know, and I'm always moving around. Like, it's, it's taking me a while to get settled in here, but finally I'm getting into the flow of things, so let's have a fucking sick day and crush it, guys. Really, guys, what I see myself doing, once brotherhood is built, like, you know, the, the landing page, the, all the systems, all of that stuff there, my team, Really, what I want to do next year, I don't know what point, because beginning of the year, I want to go to Thailand with my boys and live it up and um, just have fun, like get into MMA, stuff like that, party. But then uh, at some point, I just want to literally lock myself into somewhere like this, just in the mountains um, and just study and the areas i really want to master and study one is buddhism two is stoicism three would most likely be psychology and um probably actually you know what the religion of christianity is what i'll probably dive into and just yeah just go deep on learning and studying and just be locked away somewhere like here we'll see what happens i know it will happen but I'm, I think deep down, I'm a very spiritual Zen guy. I really feel that I'm very spiritual and very simple. And um, I want to keep pursuing that lifestyle. 
so I'm very excited to see what comes in my life, but yeah. About to start my deep work block and I'm, I've been, res I don't know why I'm just fucking resisting it. It's like, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my state first. I'm gonna get into a peak state and then fucking go ahead and attack this. Cause I've been sitting here just doing busy things like replying on Slack, replying on Telegram, not uh, avoiding the main task at hand, you know? And I think it's because the state I'm in, I need to get into a better state. And also I honestly think as well, it's like when humans, right? When we feel confused by something or unsure, we t tend to avoid it. And I think I'm unsure on the next steps, which is more reason to fucking lean into it, right? But either way, about to crush four hours of deep work. And um, my actions are to finalize the launch, like the specific details of everything I'm gonna be putting in. So like uh, what content angles I'm gonna approach it from, what promotions I'm gonna use, all of that stuff there. And then secondly is gonna be, um, what did I put, what did I put? Sending over videos to my video editor. That's another thing, I need to organize all my videos I've got filmed, send them over. And the last one is to, I can't remember. It's written down on my phone though. But let's get into this deep web block. First of all, I'm gonna change my state. I'm gonna literally go out on the balcony and just fucking meditate, get grounded. Cause you know what it is guys, yeah? How you view what you do affects how you do what you do, right? If I'm viewing this task and I'm like, ah, oh, this is long or whatever it is, or I'm having some kind of, because resistance is just a subconscious um, belief you have, right? Or a subconscious thought you're having. If you change the way you're viewing it, right? And you start to sell yourself on why this is, this is fucking good, why you're excited to do it, the outcome of it, how you're going to feel at the end of the, the session, right? And guess what's going to happen? You're going to approach it in a different way. You're going to take different action. You're going to get different results. So let's get grounded and crush this fucking day. Figuring out the ins and outs of the launch, man. Figuring out the ins and outs. Pretty sure what I'm gonna be doing is. No, I'm definitely sending people to the landing page to get into the webinar, right? Um, yeah, webinar dash masterclass. And now I'm just thinking about the best ways to angle this, send people there. Um, yeah, and just how I'm gonna promote it. I think what I'm gonna do, hmm, I think what it's gonna be is like, cause I'm trying to think in my mind as well, like, okay, cool. I send them to this uh, landing page, right? And it's like, um, webinar, right? How to, whatever it's gonna be titled. Um, but technically that won't be, eh, I guess it is like promoting brotherhood, the launch of brotherhood, you know? So I'm just trying to think about how to do those two things there. But I guess, it doesn't, I'm overthinking I think, right? But anyway, this is what it's about. It's like you're seeing, this is why I'm, I'm just documenting everything, real talk, because I want to just look back at this and say, oh shit, when I was figuring out how I was gonna drive people there, stuff like that. But from now, what I'm definitely gonna be doing is sending people to a free webinar dash masterclass. On the masterclass and webinar is when I'm gonna provide fuck ton of value. When I provide a fuck ton of value, then I'm gonna launch Brotherhood on that day, 23rd of December, and then push it till about the 7th to the 10th of January. And uh, that's when I'll raise the prices, probably add a uh, joining fee on there, stuff like that. Either way, go to brotherhood.co, sign up. 
get onto the email list and go from there. Real talk guys, I was just sitting here working. Two hours into my deep work block, laser focused. I just took in a deep breath and I just said to myself, you know, I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you. Guys, you know, uh, my journey to get to where I am was fucking hard, I'll be honest with you. I had so many challenges along my journey. So many. And for me to even be able to just sit here now and work for four hours uninterrupted is such a blessing, guys. Because I remember the days I couldn't do this, you know? I remember the days I was crippled with doubts and fears and worries and all of this shit was riddled my mind. And it's like, this idea I have now that I'm just working on crushing it, just breaking it all down in a flow without resistance. Even when I'm, okay, cool, what's the next step now? What's the next step? The old version of me would get overwhelmed by that real talk. The old version of me would be like confused by that, you know? But I would, the principles I'm gonna show inside brotherhood, like, I would, camera moving, I would just, write these things down and see myself being, I would write things down like I am calm, relaxed and confident when it comes to growing my business and making money, right? I'm relaxed, I'm present, I'm calm. That's how I am now. But it wasn't always like this, guys, real talk. Like, it was fucking hard to get to this level in my life. And I'm not talking about the results externally, I'm talking about how I was able to do this. And this is one of the things I talk about, guys. It's not about what you do, Right, or how you get there, it's about who you need to be. I had to become this version of myself. Do you understand what I mean? I had to be this guy before I got this. You know, I had to define this guy, I had to step into it. But bro, that's why I pray for you as well, man. I hope you can say to yourself, man, I'm proud of you, to yourself, you know? And the next level above that is loving yourself. That's something I'm still working on real talk. Self-love is probably the biggest thing. No, not probably, it is the biggest thing, guys. Self-love. Just loving yourself. Which is still something I'm trying to work on. And you hear the thunder? That's God right there. But um, self-love is something I'm still trying to work on, guys. Like, fully just loving myself. Like, yeah, I fucking love you, bro. Because I don't right now. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't. I don't know why. Um, I don't love myself. But I know that's the key because there's been times in my life where I do. And the thing is, self-love isn't something you, you get from doing things. Like, it's not about doing, guys. Because, like, I'm making more money than ever before. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm traveling the world. I'm doing all of these things. But it's not about doing. It's an internal feeling. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get to that level where I just fucking love myself, you know? I do like myself, I guess. And I guess there's areas where I do love myself. But I still think there's, like certain stories in my mind or whatever the fuck it is that blocks it I'm fully feeling it feeling it is different from saying I love you bro I'm fuck, you're a fucking G I'm proud of you to truly like I fucking love you bro and then you just win it you know what I'm saying so yeah anyway let's get back to work wash got some fucking gains haven't we beef broccoli eggs rice guys I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold myself accountable yeah I'm not happy with the way I've been working out. I've not been putting in 110% effort like I always do. And that's changing tomorrow. Same with my wake up time. I've said it, I'm gonna get up tomorrow at either quarter to seven. That's gonna be my time I'm saying, or maybe quarter to six, right? But I've not been true to myself in my fitness and um, I've been making excuses straight up. I've been a little pussy, haven't I? I have a little pussy. So as of tomorrow, early wake up, early wake up to me is like, the probably the number one habit I can I can tell you guys to follow like that's something I've always been religious with when I've been traveling it's thrown me off but like waking up early and just getting after it it keeps me in a flow for the whole day because I've been waking up without an alarm and stuff that was probably a mistake to honestly when I first came out here that's changing tomorrow I'm gonna get back on my fucking early ground early wake ups straight into it guys and I'm and working out in the morning like something about working out in the morning again it's just like it just sets me up for the day. It's like you've got that W under your belt. You feel fucking like a champion, you know? So hold me accountable, guys. I don't just roast me in the comments, but you do it pussy, you know? Roast me. Because um, I want to train hard. I want to train hard as fuck. I want to push myself. And on top of that, mobility. Mobility, 
and flexibility is what I want to work on as well. So I'm accountable to that, guys, yeah? This is what brotherhood's going to all be about, just accountability on a mad level. Anyway, let's eat this food. Yeah, this meal right here was uh, 950 calories, about 90 grams of protein in here. Easy work, guys, easy work, trust me. Getting in shape, actually fucking easy. You just gotta eat a lot. That's it. This is where I can film the video, right? So I'll just sit here, pretty good lighting, I think. Sure, Mike here, bro, backdrop's looking fucking sick. Create some fire content, let me know what you think, bro. Probably gonna put this in the vlog right now. I'm filming, I'm, I'm sending this over to my, sending this over to my video editor, see if he likes the backdrop for the video. I think it looks solid. Or I could even do it this way. With the gym on the backdrop, oh, that looks cold. Let me see that one. See how this one looks, man. I like the chessboard in there as well, you know. Okay, I'll have to adjust it, but let's see how that one looks. Sure, Mike, boom. Sit here, make the video. We'll see what happens. All right, so just been working now for the past two and a half hours been a flow state being locked in um, content content launch is solid I've decided on the, the strategy I've said this yesterday in the video but sending everyone to a, uh, like a live webinar dash masterclass I'm just gonna provide so much value um, I'm not working on that today I, as a, I'm gonna work on that in the next few days for now what I'm working on is the content strategy for the launch so what I've decided I'm gonna be doing two YouTube videos per week. I'm gonna make them out here. Um, seven emails a week, seven Instagram stories. Going up to launch week, gonna increase emails to 14 a week, so two a day, seven Instagram stories. But Instagram stories, like, let's say I do 14 emails, right? Instagram stories is one, but right? it could be 10, you get the point, 10 Instagram stories. Um, so that's gonna build up to the 22nd, so that's week one, week two, and then post launch, same thing, three, uh, two YouTube videos a week. 14 emails, Instagram stories, all of that. Um, so the launch plan is looking good. What I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna study from Dan Coe's program about writing, just to see how I can specifically, uh, you know, create, uh, how do I say it? Like create the content, because what Dan Coe talks about is writing one big email, right? And then from that one big email you write, and you produce content from that. So I just wanna learn from somebody who's already done this a few times and uh, understand more about content creation. So I'm gonna work on that now for the next 90 minutes. Then I'll get a workout in. And then I've got four calls. I've got a call with a guy who's gonna be helping me a brotherhood with Dennis, fucking sick guy. Coached him, helped this guy go from like zero. Now he's making 30K a month, right? Incredible guy as well. Sick energy, disciplined, savage. Uh, then I've got coaching calls inside of uh, one uh, company that helps people become high ticket closers. The other one is Charlie Morgan's program. If you guys know Charlie Morgan, he's an SMA guy. He's got like 30K subs on YouTube. His company does eight figures. They do about 800 grand a month. And then I've got a coaching call inside my entrepreneur, my company, right? So that's the breakdown for this evening. Guys, we're winning. We're winning, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning. I'm excited for this launch, for real. Just need to, uh, I don't need to do anything. I need to let go and trust the process thinking about the webinar, it's like we're not working on the webinar yet, but we're not working on that. That will come in due time. Man, I need a haircut badly. I might head out tomorrow and get a haircut. I need a trim on my beard. Fuck, you know, ain't looking too good, is it? But we're grinding, we're grinding. Um, yeah, three hours into the deep work. Three, three, three hours into the deep work. Absolutely killing it today. Absolutely crushing it and just just grateful to be honest with you guys, you know. Making so much progress on this launch and um I just scuffed up my shoes. Let me show you the shoes. Fresh. Fresh shoes. But yeah. You know, effective performance is preceded by painstaking preparation. Spending this time now planning to launch the content, the strategy. When it comes to launching, it's going to be easy. Have my team members delegate it to them. They will put it, post it all out for me. Uh, get it all out there, distribute it. 
all I gotta do is make content. See, I'm out of breath from walking. <sighs> Been getting tested with this, whatever the fuck it was that I got. But yeah, day number five. We fucking winning, guys, trust me. Get the fucking fog crazy. <sighs> Let's go. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, shit. Bruh. Where am I right now? I'm in GTA. I feel like I'm playing real life GTA because I fucking am. That's why. Listen, guys, the views are mad. Oh my days. Are you, are you seeing this shit? What? Shit is wild out here. All right, just finished up my last eat work block. Yes, I got it done before 11, 12 p.m., right? I know. Big win. This block wasn't that focused. It was more of like a kind of doing a few bits and pieces here and there, but I got things done, which is the main thing. So I sent over videos to my YouTube editor. I uh, uploaded to my Instagram, promoting the new vlog, the, the first vlog of, of the monk mode. I went through like content um, that I'm gonna be uploading. And yeah, even before that work block, um, when I came upstairs, I was working on the launch plan. So I had a sick overall four hours of deep work, crushed it. Man, it is slowly building up, you know what I mean? Like, I would say tomorrow or the day after, I'm ready to start creating the content and uh, all the specific, you know, things that are going to go in the emails, in the Instagram posts, all of that stuff there. Once I've launched, created all of that, can delegate it to my team members, and then it will be creating the content, like the videos and stuff. And then it's going to be building up the course and the webinar or the, the, the uh, masterclass, however you want to call it. So... Overall, things are unfolding perfectly. Things are all coming into play perfectly. Um, yeah, that's, everything's going good. I need to then build out the, the community where I'm going to host it. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hire somebody. I'll get my assistant to hire somebody. Building a team, delegation, you know how we do. And um, yeah, everything's just unfolding like perfectly, guys. You see it. You see it. You know what I mean? I'm excited tomorrow. I'm, I'm telling myself I'm getting up uh, um, quarter to seven. I'm going to get up a quarter to seven tomorrow. So I'm excited to get up early. I'm going to plan my day out tomorrow as well. I'll be honest with you guys. I've been slacking out here on my, my routine and stuff. Like, I thought I could just wing it. I was like, yeah, you know, I'll come out here. I'll wing it for a bit. This and that. Nah, bro. I need routines. I need plans. I need structure. I need all of that. So that's what I'm going to lock in tomorrow. And um, I know tomorrow is going to be the best day out here. Because just planning and getting up early is the key for me. Anyway, I'm going to go and get a workout in now. And then I've got to take some calls. And uh, fucking killing the day, aren't I, mate? Killing the fucking day. Let's go, let's go. Fucking winning. Such a good feeling to progress. Great feeling. I didn't actually study today on Danko's course because I've been doing other stuff, but I might even do that later. I finished my call at 11 p.m., but we'll see. Probably not a good idea, but I do want to get some kind of studying in, so I might do like 30 minutes today. Just lock in, so yeah, we'll see. chest and shoulders today I learned a sick lesson yesterday though that we said um, about working out oh, got a new person arriving basically yeah what I was saying was when you think about working out oh look at the views oh my I'll show you that in a moment but when you think about working out yeah you've got to think about it depends on your goals right but basically you can lift for strength and just lift heavy weights right which is good for strength training. But if you want to build an aesthetic physique, which is my goal, I'm going to go higher reps. I knew this stuff, right? But just reconfirming it as well. And it said, if you want to think of like, you know, lifting the weight, it's like a muscle under tension. So you can lift lighter, better form. That's something I've been stepping into as well. 
been a game changer for me. Wow, this place is sick. Let's get this workout. Hey, listen, yeah, if you're a man and you don't work out, you fucking up, mate. You have to have a peak physique if you're a man. You have to. I don't care what anyone says. It's the number one of the number one pillars, right? God first, then fitness and health. It just is, guys. It just is. It just is. Shit. Let's say the past few days when I've been feeling 100, percent like you just notice a difference in how you feel, your attitude towards life. You know what I'm saying? Health and fitness is key. Living your best life. Rest pause training. I do not isolation like this. I've got 10 reps. Rest for about 15, 10, 15 seconds. Continue. Get extra gains that way. Trust me. Let's go again. One, two, three. It's five more. The last one was a bit of a cheap one. You get the point. Let's fucking go. All right, just had a sick call with one of my guys, Dennis. Got to make this quick because I've got a call coming up now, but that was a big call. And him brainstorming how we're gonna blow this up. You gotta have good people around you, man. It's the key. Team members, good people around you supporting it. Let's fucking go. What's happening? So, time right now, coming up to 10 o'clock, 10 to 10. And, um, can't even see that. Mad views, but yeah, just wrapped up. How many calls did I just do? One? Seven to eight, eight to nine. Yeah, three calls. Um, two coaching calls. One was with my guy Dennis, like I said. And um, yeah, I got one other call right now to 11. And then after that one, I will um, meditate for an hour and then go to bed. But honestly, guys, sick day today. I'm loving, documenting all of that stuff there. And um, whew, just a good day, just a good day. God is good, feeling blessed. And um, yeah, tomorrow we're getting up early. Um, so yeah, all right, let's go. All right guys, just fucking crushed four calls back to back, four hours of calls. Before that, I'd done four hours of deep work, eight hour block. <sighs> Killed it. Killed it, guys. Um, gonna meditate. And um, I'm gonna do like a guided meditation. Probably will kind of do it and like fall off to sleep, to be honest with you. I'll start off sitting up and then I'll go into it. But yeah, either way, another sick day. Like just feeling good, progressing massively, feeling feeling like I'm progressing because I am but like yeah all right guys other than that you already know no slacking brotherhood.co let's fucking go oh bars but yeah no slacking guys I see you tomorrow day number six tomorrow let's go